guys, welcome back to the channel. It is uh, ten thirty uh, in the evening, but you know when you get inspired, you just gotta go for it. I got this idea to give you some phrases that basically they all mean like um, it doesn't matter, it's okay, it's irrelevant, etc., like that. So we're just gonna go through these like random phrases that are super super useful and stuff that you will hear all the time. I'm holding my iPad, so if my arm starts to fall off, you know why. Let's do it. The first one is de okay. De er okay. De okay. It's just like in English. Basically, you know, an example could be uh, Jeg brugte din computer i dag. Jeg brugte din computer i dag. De er okay. De er okay. De er okay. You could also add the word healed, which means like totally. It's totally fine. It's totally okay. De er helt okay. De er helt okay. De er helt okay. Cool. You could also say uh, de er fint. De er fint. De er fint. It's fine. Example could be that somebody says it's raining outside and you're like, it's okay. We have rain clothes. Det regner meget i dag. Det regner meget i dag. Det er okay. Vi har regntøj. Det er okay. Vi har regntøj. Yeah, you're gonna use this one in Denmark. <laughs> oh, just take a break from my shoulder. Oh, you know, I did a workout today, a shoulder workout, so this is like holding 10 kilograms. Next one. Det gør ikke noget. Det gør ikke. Know it. Det gør ikke noget. So this is like, imagine you bump into somebody and you're like, sorry, sorry, sorry. They might say to you, det gør ikke noget. Det gør ikke noget. Det gør ikke noget. Doesn't matter. That's okay. It's pretty much the same. You could also say, det gør ikke spor. Det gør ikke spor. Det gør ikke spor. This is a fun one because it's literally like saying that doesn't leave a mark. Like, it doesn't matter. Next one, det er lige meget, det er lige meget, det er lige meget. I wonder if you can hear the difference in the tone that I'm using, because this one also means it doesn't matter, but it's kind of used in relation to something else, like something more specific. So maybe somebody says like, jeg kan ikke komme før klokken 18, and you reply, det er lige meget, bare du kommer. Det er lige meget, bare du kommer. Right? So it's like, oh my god, my shoulder. It's like, I can't be there before this time. It's okay as long as you come. Det er lige meget. You may also hear it in the supermarket when somebody is offered a receipt. Like, no, det er lige meget. It doesn't matter. And then they go. Ooh. Another example of this one could be, uh, det er lige guldigt. Det er lige gyldigt. This is uh, just more, the same thing basically, but stronger, because now you're saying it's irrelevant. Imagine a guy is uh, just moved into a new place, and now the owner is like, wants to kick him out. And he's like, uh, Jeg er lige flyttet ind. Jeg er lige flyttet ind. I just moved in. And the owner, he's just like, Det er lige gyldigt. Det er lige gyldigt. Ud. Get out. I don't care. You shit on the floor. I don't know. <laughs> so basically it's the same as saying det er lige meget, but it's a little bit stronger. Next one. Intet problem. Intet problem. No problem. Basically the same as English, but it's less common to use it in the way that people do in English like to say it's okay. You know, um, it's usually more specific, like, uh, I don't know, the door, the door is stuck. Ah, intet problem, jeg har vægtøj. Intet problem, jeg har vægtøj. So it's used in a more specific case, rather than just being relaxed. Next one, glem det, glem det, forget it. Oh, just had to readjust again. 
so glimpse this can be very literal oh the camera's going everywhere uh very literal and it can be mixed with some of the other examples that we had maybe you want to revert from something you said you know when you want to say to somebody like ah oh, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter forget it forget it dili mal glimpse a dili mal glimpse yeah could also be about a situation uh maybe like Forget it. It's not gonna happen. Glimte, they can't make to ski. Glimte, they can't make to till at ski. Glimte, they can't make to ski. Uh, yeah, that's it. Next one. This skal du ikke tænke over. This skal du ikke tænke over. This skal du ikke tænke over. Uh, this is means you you don't need to think about that. That you don't need to think about. Uh, so it's basically like saying don't worry about it in a way. Um, for example, Beatlin uh, Skavaskis. Beatlin Skavaskis. This skal du ikke tænke over. Jeg gør det. Det skal du ikke tænke over. Jeg gør det. Right, so... Don't think about it. Don't worry about it. I'm going to do it. But anyway, uh, I think we'll leave it there. Pretty awesome phrases. Hope you found them useful. Give a thumbs up. Like and all that cool YouTube stuff. Hi, hi. Hello. Welcome back to Danish Tube. My name is Liam. In this video, we're going to look at some more random phrases using the word gang or ganga. Let's do it. Danish Tube. So I'm going to take a step to the side so I can write the phrases here. The first one is Vel ha du gang i? Vel ha du gang i? Va ha du gang i? <laughs> it's usually said like Va ha du gang i? Va fein ha du gang i? It's like when you're saying to somebody like What the hell are you doing? What do you think you're doing? Sort of thing. Maybe they're... I saw a movie the other day that a guy was forcing himself on a woman and she pushed him away and was like Va ha du gang i? And then ran. So that's basically it. Uh, the next one is Jeg er i gang med at Jeg er i gang med at Jeg er i gang med at So this is like when you are in the process of doing something as in like maybe you are learning a language um, learning how to fix bikes that sort of thing. So you just add the verb on the end Jeg er i gang med at lære dansk Right, but it can also just be like day to day, like hey, what are you up to? Ah, jeg er gang med at uh, rulle up. I'm cleaning up right now. That's it. Next one. Lad os komme i gang. Lad os komme i gang. Lad os komme i gang. This means let's get going. Next one. In gang til. In gang til. In gang til. This can be used when you're like. You don't hear what somebody says. You're like, huh? Once again? In gang til. It can also just be that you want to do something again. Let's do it one more time. In gang til. Next one. In gang i mellem. In gang i mellem. Yeah, in gang i mellem. Once in a while. Self-explanatory. Once in a while. How often do you do this? Hmm. In gang i mellem. The next one I'm going to put two together. We have mange gange og nogle gange. Mange gang. Nong gang. Mang gang. Nong gang. Yeah, it's uh, literally many times and sometimes. Yeah, how many times have you done this? Mang gang. Uh, how many times do you do this? Mm, Nong gang. That's it. Easy. Nong gang spiso ya in benin. Timo and mel. The last one is. Der er gang eden. Der er gang eden. Der er gang eden. Uh, this could be like, it's when there's a lot of things happening. So maybe you're at a party, the music is pumping, there's a lot of things going on. You can say, whoa, da gang eden. But it can also be just at work, there's a lot of things happening at work. Sorry. So in that context, da gang eden. There's a lot to do, there's a lot of things going on. Maybe you're moving house, that sort of thing. So da gang eden. Jamen, det var det. Tak fordi I så med, og vi ses næste gang. Hej hej. Hey,
welcome back to Danish Tube. This is Random Phrases number three. And in this one, we're going to look at a bunch of phrases all using the verb at comma. Here we go. Danish Tube. The first one is at comma till. This is how you say to accidentally do something. For example, I come to or see no don't. You come to see no don't. The guy at it. I do that. Often. Maybe you spill some water on your computer, or somebody else does it. Uh, hand come to a spill event on my computer. Could also be that Dina books are come to a fella nil. Or Mina books are come to a fella nil. The next one is at comma fram till. Comma fram til. This is to reach, often to reach an agreement. For example, vi kunne ikke komme fram til en aftale. Vi kunne ikke komme fram til en aftale. Oof. It's not going so well today. The next one is at comma got yem. A comma got yem very simply means to arrive home safely. You might say it when somebody's leaving your house late at night or just in general when someone needs to go home. You might say, Come got yem. Come got yem. Number four is at comma and po. A comma and po means it depends on. What's important about this is you can't just say, Ah, it depends, like you do in English. You have to complete your sentence. For example, Det kommer an på, hvad du har lyst til. Det kommer an på, hvad du har lyst til. Depends what you fancy, what you feel like doing. Mm, what else? Det kommer an på vejr. Det kommer an på vejr. Depends on the weather. Things often do. Next one, at comma a mill. A comma a mill. I like this one. It's like to get rid of when you just need to get something away from you. Jeg skal komme a med denne sofa. Jeg skal virkelig komme a med denne sofa. I really need to get rid of this sofa. Next, at comma a still, a comma a still just means to leave. Skal vi se a comma a still? Skal vi se a comma a still? Shall we get going? The next one is a comma for B. A comma for B simply to get past someone is in your way. Hmm, you can be polite and ask, "Må jeg komme forbi?" Or, "Må jeg ikke lige komme forbi?" "Må jeg ikke lige komme forbi?" A few more left. At comma mill, a comma mill. It means to come with as in to go along with somebody, to join them on their journey. Ja kommer mil. Ja kommer mil. I'm coming with you. Nister. At kommer til skæl. At kommer til skæl. This means to get hurt. Ouchie. Pas på, du ikke kommer til skæl. Pas på, du ikke kommer til skæl. Nister. At kommer tilbage. At kommer tilbage. Mm, you might say, Hun kommer aldrig tilbage. She's never coming back. Hun kommer aldrig tilbage. Two left. The next one is at comma til tiden. At comma til tiden means to arrive on time. This is one for you Argentines. You should use it and try to do it also. Uh, I might say, yeah. Hun kommer aldrig til tiden. Hun kommer, eller han kommer aldrig til tiden. So the opposite of coming, uh, arriving on time would be a comma for saint. A comma for saint, literally like saying to come too late. Jeg kommer aldrig for saint. Jeg kommer aldrig for saint. So then, that was a whole bunch of phrases using at comma. Hope you found them useful. Vi ses i den næste video. Hej hej. Danish Welcome back to Danish Tube. This is another random phrases video. This time we're going to use the verb at tear to take. Here we go. Danish Tube. So in the last one we had at comma a still, and we can replace comma with tear, which basically means the same. Like a comma still is like let's get going, and tear still is kind of the same, but like to leave basically. I could say. Yai ta a still. Yai ta still no. Hi hi. I'm off. Gotta go. Ciao. Next one is a te contact till. A te contact till, which is kind of like get in touch with when you maybe, I don't know, send an email to somebody for the first time or they send one to you. You might say, tag for di du ta contact timai. Tag for di du ta contact timai. And the next one, number three, I'm gonna try to keep a record of them. A te a toy po. Or te toy a, so to take on clothes or to take them off, um, to get dressed or undressed. A te toy po, yai ta toy po, yata 
So I ate. The next one is kind of fun because it's called a tear ye hat and po. A tear ye hat and po. To put on the yes hat. Basically means to go along with stuff, to say yes to stuff, be the yes man. Du skal tear ye hat and po. Du skal tear ye hat and po. Next one, number four, a tear till. A tear till. Very simply, to take time. Simple example, de tar til. De tar til. Takes time. De tar til jo. De tar jo til. Nummer fem. Og tage telefonen. Og tage telefonen. To take the telephone means to pick up, to answer. At tage telefonen. Uh, han tager ikke sin telefon. Han tager ikke sin telefon. Okay, two here. We could say at tage ind til byen og at tage ud i byen. A tete bugen kind of means like to go to the city, like maybe, sorry, a tete into bugen kind of means like you're gonna go to the city and maybe buy some stuff. Whereas a tete ud i bugen kind of sounds like you're going out drinking. So, ya ta into bugen, ya ta ud i bugen. You can say both, depends what you're doing. A tete forgivel, a tete forgivel means to take for granted. I don't know, you could say, du ta mai forgivel. Du tager mig for givet. You take me for granted. Or, man skal ikke tage livet for givet. Man skal ikke tage livet for givet. One shouldn't take life for granted. Nice! That was a bunch of phrases all using the verb at tage. To take. Go out and use them. Tage still. Go out and use these Danish phrases. Vi ses i den næste video. Hej hej. Danish tune. Hej og velkommen tilbage til Danish Tube. Mit navn er Liam, og ja, jeg har både en hue og shorts på. Og nu kan jeg godt se, at det er lidt en modsigelse. Men, whatever. Hey, my name is Liam. Welcome back to Danish Tube. Yeah, I can see now that I have a hat and shorts on, and that's a bit of a contradiction. But whatever. Dagens video, den skal handle om, yeah, random phrases. Uh, det er random phrases number 5. Og uh, lad os bare gøre det. Let's do it. Danish Tube Random phrase number one, det er Det er ikke så tosset. Det er ikke så tosset. Which means, it's not so crazy. Uh, which is kind of a modest way, if you like, to say that something is good. <laughs> so, the example I always give is that if I'm recording with my friend and I record a vocal and it's pretty good, he might turn to me and say, Det var ikke så tosset. Det var ikke så tosset. Meaning, det var godt. That was good. Number two, number two, that is, Tæ dig sammen. Tæ dig sammen. Tæ dig sammen. It means, get it together. Come on, get it together, man. Tæ dig sammen. You can use that in a few ways. It could be like, I don't know, you're emotionally a wreck and you need to tear dig sammen. Or you just need to do something, get something finished, you know. Get yourself together. Come on, pull yourself together and get it done. Tæ dig sammen. Nummer tre, det er, du må have spist søm. Du må have spist søm. Du må have spist søm. You must have eaten nails, which basically means you're talking shit. Like what you're saying doesn't make any sense, and you must have eaten nails. Nummer fire, yeah, fire. Det er at tabe trollen. For example, jeg har tapped trollen. Jeg har tapped trollen, which means I've lost the thread. So it's like when you lose yourself in a conversation or an idea, you sort of losing the meaning. You've lost hold of the thread. Yeah, tap trollen. Nummer fem. Æblet fælder ikke langt fra stammen. Æblet fælder ikke langt fra stammen. The apple doesn't fall far from the trunk. <laughs> yes, the trunk of the tree. So you know the one that uh, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree or whatever it is. Um, my friend said this to me recently when he looked at a photo of my son and saw that he basically looks like me. Ah, able to feel like he liked for starting. Normal sex. At smear sin ein medicine. Or smear sin ein medicine. We have the same one in English this time. To taste your own medicine. No, ha han smacked sin ein medicine. That... <laughs> 
<laughs> nu har han smagt sin egen medicin. Now he's tasted his own medicine. Which means you've you've basically... Hmm, how can I explain that? Which basically means that you have experienced something that you have maybe inflicted on other people. I don't know, for example, you have done something that has, you know, hurt somebody and karma has come back to bite you in the ass and now you have tasted your own medicine. Nu har du smagt din egen medicin. And the last one is just, uh, well, genius, it is. At give a thing on. Or at give a fuck thing on. That would be these two things. <laughs> a key thing on. To give the finger or the fuck finger. For example, Jeg tog hans parkerings plads, og han gav mig fingeren. <laughs> Jeg tog hans parkerings plads, og han gav mig fingeren. Probably a situation with all been in before. So it's very literal. It's like, you know, you're giving... I should stop doing that, really. You're giving the finger. Um, but it could also be a bit more abstract, if you like, when you are doing something because, you know, basically you are giving the finger... To something. I don't know. It could be... Uh, Jeg går aldrig med mundbind. Det er min fuckfinger. Det kodede 19. <laughs> Jeg går aldrig med mundbind. Det er min fuckfinger. Det kodede 19. Uh, we're kind of past that now, right? But it's just an example. I never wear a face mask. And that's my fuckfinger. Or that's my finger to uh, COVID-19. Sådan. Det var tilfældige fraser. Nummer 5. Jeg håber, at I kunne lide det. That was Random Phrases number 5. I hope that you liked it. Remember, give a like, follow this channel so you can get some more cool videos. If you enjoyed this video, you can donate any amount that you feel equal to the information you received. And otherwise, if you uh, are looking for Danish lessons, I'm your guy. I know how to help you out. So write to me if you feel like learning some Danish privately online. Otherwise, be safe in the next video. Hi hi. Danish tune.